Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. This is uh, sixth biology. You are watching living and non-living assessment. So children, we have successfully completed the lesson living and uh, non-living. So in the today's uh, session, we are going to discuss about the questions which appeared in the previous competitive exams okay and let us uh, analyze so before going to the questions so let us uh, review the concepts which we have learned from this lesson children the organisms that are alive and compose of tiny particles that is cells are known as living things the things which are once alive or uh, are uh, never alive are known as non-living things, isn't it? The responsiveness is a trait, a characteristic feature in living things through which uh, they sense the things and react to external stimulus. As against this, the non-living things are insensitive to an external stimulus. Okay. The processes like uh, anabolism and catabolism, anabolism is a constructive process, catabolism is a destructive process, occurs in the living things, only in the living things it occurs and uh, no such reactions takes place in the non-living things. Okay. Growth, growth is a basic characteristic feature of all living things. The living organisms go through a regulated growth due to the presence of cells in the body. So, conversely, non-living things do not grow. Okay? Living things control their internal environment so as to maintain the minimum conditions required for the cell to function. On the other side, the non-living things do not have to control the same. The living things are subject to evolution. That is the genetic makeup of the living organism change over time so as to allow them to survive and reproduce in the environment easily. The non-living things do not experience evolution. The living things are very well organized in the sense that the cells from the tissues and organs are made up of various tissues. These organs when to work together as a system it is called as organ system, isn't it? In contrast, the non-living things have no organization. Food, water and air are the basic needs of living things. They cannot survive without it, unlike uh, the non-living things have no such requirement. All living organisms have a lifespan and after which they die. On the contrary, non-living things do not have life and so can be recycled or reused even after they became obsolete. Okay? The breathing is a physical activity of inhaling and exhaling air. The living things do this act to be alive. The living things, those are not able to do breathing become dead. The human and animals inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide to complete their breathing. The plants inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen through stomata of the leaves. The changes takes place inside the body of living things, but not possible in the case of non-living things, is not it? The living things can be healthy and sick from time to time, but this does not happen in the case of non-living things. Generally, living things hear sound and non-living things do not possess this quality. Okay? So, like this, uh, the living and non-living, some quick concepts we have reviewed. So, are you ready children? Let us proceed to the worksheet. The need in Olympia level previous contest questions from this lesson, living and non-living things. 
So first question, which of the following is uh, not a characteristic of living? Evolution, growth, mobility, reproduction. Okay, here, which of the following is not? So evolution is a characteristic of living beings. Growth is a characteristic of living beings. Mobility means uh, movement. Okay, it is uh, not, uh, it's a common, mobility is a common thing, non-living thing also. When air blows, a paper can move, isn't it? But, but paper is non-living, isn't it? And the reproduction, reproduction is a characteristic feature. So here, which is not a characteristic uh, of uh, life means mobility, C. Which of the following is the correct order of increasing complexity? Complexity means increase in the size or increase in the uh, structure and function. So, here uh, the sequences are given cells, tissues, organ, organ systems. Then organs, organ systems, tissues, cells. Tissues, cells, organ systems, organs. Cells, organs, tissues, organ systems. So, here the correct uh, order is uh, from smaller to bigger cells combined to form the tissues, combined to form the organs, combined to form organ systems. So, A is the right option. Next question, which of the following statements is true? Here four statements are given from which uh, we have to select the true statement. Evolution is a characteristic of most but not all forms of life. Living things can alter their environment. Non-living things do not display metabolism. Non-living things reproduce. So here, right one is non-living things do not display metabolism. Which of the following statements is false? Growth requires that an organism takes materials from environment. Organisms have patterns for building their structures. The material taken from the environment need not be transferred before it is used to create new tissues. The tissues, cells, organ systems, organs. So, we have to select the wrong statement. So, here uh, the cells, tissues, organs and organ systems. So, the D option is the wrong statement. Next, which of the following is an example of living thing? Worm, house, baseball, car. So, B, C and D options are non-living. A is the living. So, worm is a living thing. A living thing eats, grow, moves, reproduce and has size, water, senses, skin and has senses. A living thing does all of the following except eats, grows, moves, lives forever. So, except uh, the D because every living thing has to die. Which of the following is an example of a non-living thing? Bird, ball, cat, dog. Here bird, cat and dog are living. A non-living thing is a ball. Which of the following best defines reproduce? to eat food to stay alive, breathing in air, to move back and forth, to make one of its own kind. So, reproduction is a process in which uh, makes one of its own kind. A cat produce kitten, okay. a lion produce cub. Okay. How many senses do living things have? 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 5 senses. What are they? eyes, ear, nose, tongue and uh, skin. The wood of which a wooden chair is made is a living, is non-living, was once living but is now dead, was once dead but is now living. Okay? It was once living when it is tree, okay? but it is now dead after making the chair. Which of these do all living organisms have? Bones, muscles, cells, 
skin. So, as the cells are the basic unit of all living organisms, so cells. In plants, respiration occurs during the day only, during the night only, during day and night, only when photosynthesis does not take place. So, actually, during day and night, as it is plants are living, respiration is a continuous process. Which of these is not a product of excretion? Sweat, urine, energy, carbon dioxide. Energy is not the product of respiration, it is a product of okay. in excretion, waste materials are produced. So, but energy is produced during respiration. The size of an organism is primarily dependent on number of cells in its body, size of cells in its body, the space between the cells in its body, amount of water in its body. The number of cells in its body determine the size of an organism. The more the number of cells, the larger is the size. A cockroach breathes through. Cockroach is an insect. Here the respiratory organs are given. Gills, lungs, nostrils, holes in the body. Holes in the body, they are also called uh, spiracles. If a potted plant is kept near a window from where the light is coming in, the tip of the plant undergo which change? Here the light is a stimulus. What is the response of that plant? Grows towards the window, grows away from the window, grows straight up, does not grow. Grows towards the window. Phototropism. So, same here. Uh, in the form of diagrammatic representation is given, the plant in the given figure responds to here uh, touch sunlight, gravity, water, sunlight, which is the major component of the living environment, water, soil, trees, ponds. Here the trees are the major component of the living environment, which term means adjustment to environment adaptation, mimicry, hibernation, astivation. Here adaptation is the adjustment to the changes in the environment. Which characteristic of living things is also shown as by a car? A response to changes, need of energy, reproduction of its kind, taking in gases. So, need of energy. A car is a non-living, but it requires energy in the form of fuel in order to run, is not it? Next, a chicken lays eggs and a cow give birth to a calf. Which characteristic feature of living things is proved by the given statements? All living things reproduce, some living things reproduce, all living things respond to stimuli, uh, some living things respond to stimuli. So, here all living things reproduce. Which option is made from uh, something that was once alive? Aluminium foil, leather purse, plastic bag, glass bottle, leather purse. Okay? It is made from something that was once alive. Why does a plant bend towards sunlight? To prepare food, to respire, to observe water, to observe food. It is uh, to prepare food as the light is a requirement for the process of photosynthesis. So, to prepare food, it bends towards sunlight. An organism X has hair on its body. It gives birth to young one that feed on their mother's milk. So, which organism is X? Rabbit, tortoise, lizard, crocodile. So, here tortoise, lizard and crocodile, they are reptiles. They reproduce by laying X. They are oviparous. But the rabbit is viviparous, so it give birth to young one and feed the young one with the milk. Next, which of the following options comprises various stages in the life of an organism in proper sequence? Birth, reproduction, growth, death. Growth, reproduction, birth, death. Birth, reproduction, death, growth. Birth, growth, reproduction, death. So, here the D option represents the right uh, sequence that is first birth, then grows, then reproduce and finally die. 
what is the smallest unit in the living organisms organ nails cells hairs so cells are the smallest unit which one of these refers only to living things clouds fire rivers fire rivers trees birds trees swamps rivers birds trees so in the option c birds trees and worms all are living the remaining some non living things are there to survive all plants need roots leaves and stems light water and nutrients food water and lungs eyes nose and ears so here the option b light water and nutrients are required by the plants to survive which of the following is not true about the living beings living things feel living things need food living things grow old and die living things do not reproduce so this is not the true option the life process which helps in release of energy is nutrition respiration transport excretion respiration is a process in which energy is released growth is described as only permanent process only reversible process only reversible process only permanent and irreversible process so it is uh, only the permanent and uh, irreversible process growth the process which helps in the removal of waste materials from the body is nutrition respiration transport excretion excretion is a process in which the waste materials are eliminated from the body isn't it next uh, the ability of living organism to produce young ones of their own kind is known as reproduction nutrition excretion respiration it is the reproduction the animals that give birth to young ones are known as viviparous oviparous ovo viviparous none of these so viviparous okay the animals that lay eggs for giving birth to young ones are known as viviparous oviparous ovo viviparous none of these so oviparous egg laying animals okay example children birds we can take insects and uh, reptiles the ability of an organism to move from one place to another place is jumping skating locomotion leaping okay jumping skating uh, leaping these are different types of uh, movements so locomotion the ability of an organism to move from one place to another the growth of the stem towards the light stimulus is known as phototropism geotropism neotropism pleiotropism it is a phototropism the growth of roots towards the gravity stimulus is known as phototropism geotropism neotropism pleiotropism so the roots are positively geotropic and negatively phototropic whereas stem if you take it is positively phototropic and negatively geotropic so the growth of the root towards the gravity of the stimulus is known as geotropism the period during which an organism completes its life cycle is known as life term life span life area life time it is uh, the life span life span of tortoise 120 to 150 years 120 to 140 years 120 to 160 years 120 to 170 years so it is uh, 120 to 140 years the life span of pea plant is 3 months 4 months 2 months 5 months it is 4 months okay it's a crop the life span of bacteria is 25 minutes 30 minutes 20 minutes 40 minutes it is 20 minutes okay very short life span the living organisms which are seen with the help of microscope are known as mushrooms microorganisms macroorganisms devils so microorganisms okay you need an electron microscope to see the ultra microscopic organisms the bacteria which helps in nitrogen fixation is clostridium lactobacillus rhizobium salmonella rhizobium bacteria it is present in the root nodules of the groundnut it helps in the nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixing bacteria rhizobium which of the following is considered the most uh, unifying concept in biology taxonomy anatomy genetics evolution okay most unifying is uh, the evolution okay option d 
living organisms have many complex uh, characteristics which one of the following is uh, shared by non living matters as well homeostasis tissues reproduction molecules so here are the molecules okay atoms combined to form the molecules molecules combined to form the compounds like that molecules complexity increases in the non living matter so in the living matter also the cells combined to form the tissues tissues combined to form the organs organs combined to form the organ systems so here in the non living the complexity molecules d a newly discovered microscopic structure is hypothesized uh, hypothesized to be a living organism which of the following lines of evidence would support the contention that uh, this organism may be alive okay it contains dna it is made of uh, a single cell it utilizes energy and the final option it is uh, made of many cells okay the microscopic structure hypothesized in the living organism it lies the evidence would support the contention that this organism may be alive so it contains dna this is the microscopic structure okay option a the evolutionary relationships between uh, groups of organisms are determined using which of the following type of information comparisons of uh, nucleotide sequences comparisons of biochemical pathways comparisons of uh, the structural features okay which one uh, here uh, the comparisons of nucleotide sequence is correct and the comparisons of biochemical pathways is also correct comparisons of uh, the structural features is also correct so the option d so which of the following structures is the smallest viroid hydrogen atom bacterium mitochondria viroid is the particle of virus so virus itself is a very microscopic so viroid is ultra microscopic the smallest one is a okay next is the last one here uh, you have to you need to compare the column 1 with column 2 column 1 reproduction respiration excretion protoplasm in the column 2 continuation of phase oxidation of the food removal of waste materials living substance of uh, cells okay you have to match the suitable ones reproduction it helps in the continuation of phase respiration is also nothing but uh, the oxidation of food materials to release energy excretion the removal of uh, waste materials protoplasm is the living substance of the cells so here uh, ap bq cr d s so option c okay children so these are the some of the questions there are many questions uh, which may appear from the middle of the lesson okay you need to read the lesson and uh, understand the concept okay thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates